On the 6th of April of 2010, my boss told me I was fired. Probably some of you are unemployed or were unemployed. But I'm sure that you have friends or colleagues who are in these states. Let me just tell you that nothing happens. Life continues outside that company. In my case, it lasted almost a year and a half. And I call it a period of personal and professional transition, which must be seen as an opportunity. And, and I'm going to tell you why. After working more than 10 years in the construction sector, my environment changed radically. Once, I had an office, a business car, and a parking place. Now, I have this car borrowed from my parents, and I have a new office, but it was more familiar. It was my home. So working routines and environments changed, so I had to make sense of this new and familiar world. Let me tell you a little bit of this new world. Firstly, my family. My wife wasn't working. We realized we would be spending a lot of time together. We focus on cutting costs and maintaining our own spaces. Having a daughter was crucial because she allowed us to have a normal life with a routine of getting up all mornings to take her to elementary school. Secondly, the outside world. Being unemployed is like being on a roller coaster with its ups and downs. Let me just tell you that I did seven revisions of my CV. But the most important lesson was to be in touch with people, with friends, colleagues, and other job seekers. Because if they didn't know that you had a problem, they couldn't help you. More than ever, we need contact with our friends, all and new, the human touch. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about me, myself. Where do you want to be in five years? I'm going to ask you again. Where do you want to be in five years? I was asked this question by a professor. When I tried to find the answer, I realized that I had to do an MBA. I enjoyed the MBA. I learned a lot of things. I discovered new worlds. But the pity was that I discovered all this at the age of 40. So that was my family, my also world, and of course, me, myself. Where am I now? Currently, I'm working in the construction sector. I appreciate more than ever the job I have. I have a new job profile that gives me a lot of satisfaction. I give more importance to details. I listen to what the customer wants, and I give him the best solution to his needs, not mine. A more personalized service based on the concept of trust. In my personal life, I take days, take days off uh, related, <clears throat> I take this off related to my personal training all days. Um, all weeks, I have lunch with friends, simple to keep in touch. I give more importance and a great value to feedback, especially expressing gratitude. The relationship with my wife has grown stronger. I can cook many more things. <laughs> I'm developing two personal projects. Seven Arrobas improves the consumer shopping experience, focused on Iberian ham. And every second counts, cada segundo cuenta. It's related to education, connecting the broken communication bridge between high school and universities and between universities and labor market. And finally, we had a second child, Pablo. I'm not superstitious, but he was born on the 11th 11 of 2011 in the Cartagena Street number 111. <laughs> and I am 111% convinced that if I hadn't lived in this new and familiar world, he wouldn't have been born. Two months 
before he was born, I began to work. Fulfilling the common saying, Lord provides for every child that is born. I hope that with this talk, if in the future your boss tells you you are fired, you will see like a time of opportunities and with a bunch of good things. Thank you very much. <laughs>